Trying to pass it up to Dowling. And there's the pass to Dowling. Dowling going to take a shot. Audrey Keeter across to Keezer. Keezer shot in. The battle for third place is about to begin. For Power Soccer Shop, I'm Tony Jackson. Circle City Rollers, CNY United, a rematch from last year. So Circle City uh, won that contest last year. We'll see if we have the same result or not over the next 40 minutes. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're watching on the Power Soccer Shop YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Power Soccer Shop, thank you very much. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Power Soccer USA, thank you very much. And feel free to make a donation and click that link below the video, Power Soccer USA. Uh, U.S. Power Soccer Association is completely volunteer run and it takes a lot of work uh, to be able to put on an event like this and you know the coaches and, and all the athletes that train throughout the year and have competitions throughout the year um, we would really appreciate your support so feel free uh, to show us some love out there Case Calvert Looking to come into Michael Archer, but he goes right to Peyton Sefik. And these two teams, uh, very talented players on this team. Peyton Sefik for CNY United, who just hit the ball out of play. And his teammate, number 25, Drew Cunningham. Um, members of Team USA, who competed at the 2017 World Cup. And then Michael Archer in the goal area. Case Calvert, who's kicking the ball. And Natalie Russo, all current or former members of Team USA. And Coach Mike Hayes for the Circle City Rollers in yellow on the bench over there, just outside your screen. Uh, the coach for Team USA. So again, lots of, of talent out here. So this should be a fantastic match. Calvert. Tried to get it over to Russo, but Sefik takes it away. And that ball's out of play. Drew Cunningham, Peyton Sefik. And that ball's going to roll out for a goal kick. Case Calvert trying to hold on to that ball. It's out of play. Kick in coming up for Circle City. And we're just about within striking distance for Michael Archer. And as you're about to see, Michael Archer, one of the most powerful kickers in U.S. power soccer. And it looks like he might be taking a, a softer kick here. Going up to Calvert. Calvert down into the goal area. Peyton Sefik there with it. Calvert trying to keep the attack going for the Circle City Rollers. Sefik using the back of his chair with great effect. Sefik across to Marshfield. Marshfield miss hit the ball. So now Drew Cunningham working. That ball comes out to Sefik. Sefik with a shot and just wide. Peyton Sefik didn't miss by much. You see Cunningham pulling away from that ball to well, he actually didn't quite get anything on it. That was all Michael Archer now Circle City clearing the goal area
on court two. Tampa Thunder Turnstone Flyers in the match for fifth place. And on court three, Glassa Chicago Fire versus the San Jose Steamrollers for seventh. And in the ninth place match, Dasa Cyclones versus SoCal Vaqueros. Both those teams will be relegated to the Champions Conference next season. And they'll have to work their way back through and try to make it back to the Premier Conference the following year. Archer, the pass across to Russo, but that goes right into Sefik. Sefik gets behind Russo. Russo, good turn. Sefik. Keeps that ball in play. Archer keeps that ball from going out and conceding a corner kick. Now space for Sefik. Sefik driving. Sefik turning and hooking Kevin Perry. Peyton Sefik scores. CNY United up 1-0. You see... Sefik gets that ball behind Archer, and Archer can't do anything but watch. So now the Circle City Rollers have some work to do. Tony Reuter coming into the match for Patrick Marshfield. Calvert. Archer. Sefik. No, and a contact by Archer. Now Drew Cunningham heading towards the goal area. Drew Cunningham, can he catch the ball before it goes out? No, he can't. But a smart play by Drew Cunningham. Instead of giving up the goal kick, he pins Circle City back with a kick in. Cunningham now sends that out. Goal kick coming up for Circle City. No score on the other three courts. And after this, we have the final match of this four-day competition. The Premier Conference Championship and the Champions Conference Championship match. In the Champions Conference, the PRHC Chariots taking on Atlanta Sting. Both those teams will be promoted to the Premier Conference next season. Congratulations to both those teams. And heavy contact there. Russo now making a break down the floor. Calvert's there. Calvert switches out. Russo's there. That ball off of Reuter. And he keeps the ball in play. And heavy contact by Reuter. Now Russo peels out. Reuter now with the ball. Taking on Archer. Archer takes that ball away from him. Now Calvert with the ball, Archer with it once again. Reuter gets it away from Archer. Sefik tries to take it away from Archer, and that ball off of Michael Archer. Good job, Peyton Sefik. Winning a kick in for his side. Drew Cunningham gonna take this kick now. Sefik, now Sefik crashes into Russo. And the foul called on Russo. Cunningham, Sefik leaves it for Cunningham. Cunningham trying to get the ball out to Sefik, who's waiting, waiting to wind up for a shot. Charbonneau waiting at the far post, and now Charbonneau about to clear out, but Drew Cunningham comes back around. Ball out of play, goal kick. Circle City Rollers coming up. Sefik, Archer with the ball once again. That ball's out of play. Kick in, Circle City Rollers.
Archer, just a soft 180 spin kick. Drew Cunningham strips the ball away, but he's not going to catch that before it goes out. That ball went off of Archer, so. Kick in coming up for CNY United. Drew Cunningham preparing to kick. Peyton Sefik down low, and Ryan Charbonneau waiting for that cross. Case Calvert just outside five meters. Sefik across. Charbonneau with a shot. Save. Kevin Perry. Drew Cunningham. Sefik tried to go behind Perry, and he just missed the post. I think Perry didn't pull out quite enough to let any ball go through. So goal kick coming up for the Circle City Rollers. On court four, Dasa Cyclones. Two SoCal Vaqueros nil. And a foul on Russo. And Coach Mike Hayes not happy in the Circle City technical area. Arms crossed. Frustration pouring out of his face. That ball across. Charbonneau with a shot. Safik with a fake. And that ball rolls out for a goal kick. Russo, Archer. Kick in coming up. Oh, and a foul on Drew Cunningham, slamming into Michael Archer. So, direct free kick coming up here. Michael Archer, while he hits the ball hard, I don't think he's going to be able to score a goal from this distance. Russo over to Calvert. Sefik barely gets to that ball before Russo gets it. Kick in coming up. Archer looking to take a quick kick, but now he slows things down. The cross, Sefik gets it nicely taken, and Charbonneau and Sefik get close together. A little miscommunication. Russo, that ball slides between her and Peyton Sefik. Goal kick coming up for CNY United. And up until this point, CNY United has really kind of controlled the pace of the match. On court four, an update. You're going to get a foul on Circle City. Uh, once again, update on court four. Dasa Cyclones two, SoCal Vaqueros one. Charbonneau, Sefik, tried to go back to Charbonneau. Now, close to a two-on-one violation. Drew Cunningham picks up the ball and heads the other way. Advantage called. Ball back out. Peyton Sefik takes it. That ball out to Cunningham. Cunningham across to Archer. Substitution for Circle City Rollers, now into the match. Number 21, Colin McIntyre for Case Calvert. And heavy contact again. Archer now. Archer taking on Charbonneau, who's trying to keep the ball in the Circle City goal area. Now Drew Cunningham, Michael Archer going at it. That ball still in play. Nice turn, Michael Archer. And Drew Cunningham pushes the ball and Michael Archer out. On court two, Tampa Thunder one, Turnstone Flyers. Nil. Now 
Actually, I misread that scoreboard. No. Tampa Thunder 1, Turnstone Flyers 0. And that ball mishit by Russo. And now CNY United swarming. But Michael Archer, again, nice turn to get the ball out of the area. And that ball out of play. Charbonneau. Charbonneau with it. Charbonneau off the post. Goal kick coming up, Circle City. That ball off the back of McIntyre's chair. The pass, Cunningham. Back to Sefik. Sefik down. And referee... Andy Green not calling the two-on-one. Coach Mike Hayes not happy. He saw him throwing his arms up in the air. But I have to agree with Coach Hayes that was probably a two-on-one violation. And for those of you new to the sport, a two-on-one violation is when two players from the same team get within three meters or about ten feet of the ball when a player from the other team is also within that space. And that rule was put in place to kind of open up the game and, and create space because otherwise power soccer ends up looking like bumper cars and we wanted it to really be more like soccer. So that is the two-on-one rule. And that's also another two-on-one violation on CNY United, but no whistle. Play continues. Russo, Archer. Archer splits the defenders. Tony Reuter there to save it. Nice pass by Michael Archer, finding just a small gap between Cunningham and Sefik. Now Archer, right into Sefik. Charbonneau tries to get it away, but Russo keeps the ball in play for a Circle City. The pass to Russo. Russo off of Charbonneau and out of play. That ball all the way across, cut off by the CNY defense. And again, heavy contact. Ch Charbonneau winding up for a kick. And Ryan Charbonneau scores a goal. And I think Kevin Perry anticipated that ball coming back towards the middle. But Charbonneau didn't really hit it fully. You'll see right here, Charbonneau just barely tapped the ball. And Kevin Perry was frozen. 2-0 CNY United over Circle City. Kevin Perry coming out. Colin McIntyre coming on in his place. And Coach Mike Hayes still there in the Circle City technical area. Arms crossed. You can feel the frustration from the broadcast booth. Michael Archer with a shot. Michael Archer almost with a goal. Let's watch that one more time. And Michael Archer uh, will shoot from just about anywhere. And he barely missed that one. Close to a two-on-one violation on Circle City. And now Andy Green, the referee, calls a two-on-one on Circle City. And Mike Hayes still not happy. And he's going to take a seat. Sefik, Archer. 
Archer looking for someone to pass to. Russo comes back to help out. Russo sends it out of play. And Circle City looking uncharacteristically out of sorts, if you will. I almost want to say sloppy. That ball out of play. And Circle City, one of the most disciplined and well-coached teams in U.S. power soccer. And they seem just a little off right now. Cunningham. Working against Michael Archer. Cunningham. Archer right there at the end line. Makes that turn. The pass out. Sefik winds up for a shot. And that ball almost gets through. Michael Archer with the save. That ball got behind Colin McIntyre. And you'll see here Drew Cunningham makes a good pass out. And that ball sneaks right behind McIntyre. But Archer is there to save it for Circle City. That ball off of Michael Archer. That ball still in play. Archer takes it out. That ball bounces out. Natalie Russo coming up to get this ball. And referee blows the halftime whistle. Two goals by CNY United is the difference right now. Circle City still looking to get on the board. When we come back, we'll bring you the second half of the third place match from the Premier Conference. You're watching the 2019 USPSA MK Battery Conference Cup Series.
Senior Y United up by two as we begin the second half. For Power Soccer Shop, I'm Tony Jackson. Circle City Rollers need to work and score some goals. And a tactical change for Circle City. Michael Archer now wearing the goalkeeper vest. And that ball out, kicking coming up for Circle City. Sefik can't quite keep that ball in play. Archer over to Calvert. Calvert off of Sefik. Sefik, Archer, Russo's there. Natalie Russo with the ball. Driving towards the CNY goal area. Natalie Russo, Peyton Sefik trying to stop her from kicking out to Archer. And nicely done, Peyton Sefik, to just strip that ball away. But now Archer going to take this kick. He's within striking distance here. Let's see if he tries to unleash a rocket across the box. Natalie Russo waiting at the far post. And if that ball gets across, she it very rarely misses. That ball cut off by Sefik. Cunningham now takes it. Drew Cunningham racing. Marshfield blocks off Archer for just a moment, but he gets back into the area. Cunningham, Cunningham, Marshfield with a goal. Patrick Marshfield on the board for CNY United. 3-0 the score, and you can see the look on Michael Archer's face conceding that goal. And Colin McIntyre just could not back up quickly enough. And again, right there, you see Michael Archer, just frustration. Sefik. Sefik trying to get around Archer. The kick out through Cunningham. Cunningham working against Michael Archer now. The pass again. Marshfield with a shot saved by Michael Archer. Cunningham off of Archer. Then that ball deflects off of Cunningham. Archer sends that ball down the floor. That's close to a two-on-one violation. And referee Mike Hayes shaking his head. That ball is out of play. Cunningham cuts off that pass attempt by Archer. Cunningham trying to create a little space and see if he can either get around Archer or pass it out to Sefik. Cunningham working behind Archer, working towards the corner. Sefik waiting, waiting for that ball to come out. No support for Sefik, so he's just got to hold on. Now Cunningham comes out. Cunningham blocked off by Calvert. And Mike Hayes explodes from his seat. Calling interference on Case Calvert. And referee Andy Green under fire from Mike Hayes right now. Now, to be fair, Case Calvert was set up in a defensive position. 
He wasn't trying to block out Drew Cunningham. He just happened to be there already when Cunningham was trying to come across for the ball. That ball is out for a corner kick. Drew Cunningham. Sefik, the shot saved by Russo. Archer, that ball springs out. Marshfield, can't latch onto that ball, but it goes behind McIntyre. Archer, Sefik awaits. Archer pushing through, Peyton Sefik. And the officials stopping play for a substitution. And Patrick Marshfield gets himself on the scoreboard. He's coming off. Ryan Charbonneau coming on in his place. Calvert winding up for a 180 spin kick. Russo. Russo the last to touch that and out of play. The referee almost got taken out there by Case Calvert. Referees need to be careful out there. Calvert, Sefik sends it out. Archer, Russo's there. Calvert with a 180 spin kick, and that ball's off the post. Circle City cannot catch a break today. Archer driving in, Tony Reuter's there. Archer trying to get through. Archer trying to push his way through. Reuter turns him away. Sefik clears the ball out. Let's watch that again real quick. All live action still going on here. You'll see Natalie Russo over to Calvert. Calvert, that ball deflected off of Reuter and Circle City just unlucky there. Rejoining live action. Sefik. Russo trying to take the ball away from him. And now Sefik turning. Heavy contact again. Russo now. Has to clear out to let Archer grab the ball. And that's out of play. Kick in coming up for Circle City. Another kick in coming up. That ball out of play, another kick in. So correction on the score at court two, it's actually Turnstone Flyers two, Tampa Thunder nil. Archer thought about a shot. And another update, Turnstone Flyers score again. Three nil. Up on Tampa. Now referee Andy Green asking Archer to back up, but Archer now hits the ball off of Sefik.
Charbonneau has to turn around and collect that ball. Archer's right there. And that ball. Out of play, kick in coming up. Cunningham going over to Sefik. Cunningham gets into the Circle City goal area. And that ball out of play. Goal kick coming up for Circle City. 31st minute in Circle City yet to get on the board. Archer, nice turn to let that ball through. Circle City kicking coming up. Calvert into Sefik. Russo. Russo gets past Sefik. Sefik right into Archer. That's going out for a goal kick. Cunningham, Russo close to a two on one violation. And now that ball off of Russo. Archer going to try to save it before it goes out. And he does. Good hustle play by Michael Archer. Give and go between Russo and Archer. Oh, and Natalie Russo. Ball went under her chair. That's not something you see every day. Those bars over the back wheels are supposed to prevent that. And Russo got shaken around a little bit. It is a bit humid in here, so sometimes the ball gets a little tacky when the humidity rises. And so we see right there, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but Russo seems to be okay. Archer now with the ball. Russo sending the ball off of Sefik. Ball back over to Russo, and Russo lost track of it. I'm looking at the side of Natalie Russo's chair and trying to figure out how that ball got under there. Now some players are now starting to use pneumatic tires, but Natalie Russo using solid rubber inserts so not sure but at least she's okay and we're going to get a substitution and looks like Russo is going to come off and Brandon Gardner is coming on number 11 Charbonneau, Cunningham over to Sefik, Sefik back to Cunningham, and that ball cut off by Archer, well read. And 
Now, that was close to a foul on Sefik. Case Calvert now. Calvert gets turned around by Sefik. That ball is out of play. Archer working his way in. Can CNY preserve the shutout? Or will Circle City score while they're down here? That's close to a two-on-one violation. And that ball is out of play. And Coach Mike Hayes calling for all four players for Circle City to come up. Archer with options. Colin McIntyre with a shot. Save Reuter. Nobody in goal for Circle City at the moment. Circle City trying to avoid the shutout. Colin McIntyre drops back. Archer takes a shot. Michael Archer save Peyton Sefik. Archer looking to get a goal. And that ball out of play. Archer towards the goal. Reuter has to make a play on it. And Sefik comes in to cover for Tony Reuter. Sefik takes the ball out. Garner now trying to stop Sefik. Sefik rips the ball away, and Michael Archer comes back for it. And Sefik just a little too heavy on that touch. Not a lot of room for Archer to kick, so he kicks it right into Ryan Charbonneau. Nice recovery by Drew Cunningham as Archer kind of faked him out with that. The pass, Calvert with a shot. Case Calvert! Breaks the clean sheet for CNY United. 3-1 the score, 39th minute. Nice pass by Michael Archer. Tony Reuter just overcommitted a little bit. Garner. Peyton Sefik now. That ball off of the Circle City defense. Corner kick coming up. CNY United going to try to get this goal back. Really not a lot of time for Circle City to mount a comeback, but I've seen crazier things happen, folks. That ball a little too far ahead for Sefik. Calvert didn't get a lot on that ball. That ball out of play. That ball bouncing around. Cunningham picks it up. And Michael Archer hits that ball out of play. Sefik, Sefik trying to push through Archer's there. And Sefik pushes his way through. And I think Coach Mike Hayes is looking for a foul there. 
Let's watch that again. Sefik tries to push his way through. Archer's there, and it was close, but regardless, the broadcast booth's opinion doesn't matter. Referee says it's a goal. 4-1 the score. Calvert, Sefik, Archer with a pass over to Gardner. Gardner with a pass back to Archer. Archer over to Calvert. Calvert back up to Archer. Archer with a shot. Michael Archer with a goal. And unfortunately for Circle City, too little, too late. It was a magnificent looking goal, however. Great open passing. And you see Michael Archer right there just blasts that one past Tony Reuter. Referee Andy Green blows the whistle. And that's it. CNY United going to bring home third place. And Circle City Rollers. Trying to figure out what happened there. They did score two goals, but really late in the match. Congratulations to CNY United. As again, they're coming home with third place. And they've really, really been consistent over the last couple years, placing top four. A couple years ago, they won the Premier Conference, and they finished first or second and third, fourth place. So, you know, again, over the last couple of years, they've really gotten a lot better. In past years, they would finish middle of the conference, sometimes near the bottom. But today, they're coming home with third, and they'll be bringing home some hardware. We're going to take a break when we come back. The final match from the 2019 USPSA MK Battery Conference Cup Series, the Premier Conference Championship on court one. And if you're looking for the Champions Conference final, that will be on court two, and you can watch that on livestream.com slash power soccer shop. 4 p.m., the scheduled time, so in about 40 minutes, we'll be back. You're watching, once again, the 2019 USPSA MK Battery Conference Cup Series.